how's it going in fan fans? So today I'm going to be talking about my opinion on vaccines. In this world there are two types of people, there are pro-vacciners and anti-vacciners. You might be wondering what I am, I'm not going to be telling you just yet. Um, stay tuned to find out or just skip to the end of the video, whatever whatever you want to do. Today I'm going to be telling you about three experiences my family's had with vaccines. Alright, so the first story I'm going to be telling you about is about my second cousin, basically uh, when he was six months old, he had his vaccines and his development just slowed down completely. And he got diagnosed with Asperger's. You can call that coincidence if, if you want, but I really think that it was the vaccines that caused the autism. And I, I know a lot of people will probably tell you that, you know, autism is something that ha happens from birth. But that's actually not true. It actually comes from a traumatic childhood experience, whether it's a rough birth or you fall on your head or it's vaccines or some other traumatic thing. The second story is about my grandmother. Every year she gets her, her flu shot and then she ends up with the flu and it's really bad for her because she's quite old. Call that coincidence if you like, but if, if it's happened every year, I don't really think it's a coincidence. We've had a few vaccines in our lives, not too many, because of what happened to my cousin. My sister is studying occupational therapy and for her to be able to do the course, she had to have all the vaccinations. So I was like, well, I don't know how many it is, but it was like 15, 16 vaccinations. Because we weren't vaccinated that much, she, she wasn't fully vaccinated, so every few months she'd have her vaccinations. And each time she had her vaccination, um, she would have heart problems, and then she would kind of get better. And then she'd have her vaccinations again, and it would get worse again. Call that coincidence if you like. For it to happen every time, I don't think that's a coincidence at all. And I really think that we vaccinate kids too early now before their body's ready to handle it. And it's a lot of crap how like, they can't go to school unless they're fully vaccinated just because I think that um, it should be up to the parents what they do with their kids. After watching this video, you're probably thinking, oh, Lyndon's an anti-vaxxer. I'm not an anti-vaxxer because obviously they've helped a lot of people and they can be quite good. I just think you need to be careful.